If that's what uh, if that's what it's going for. Yeah, I agree with that. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it then. Down by the ashtray, pretty sick. Yeah, I'm with it. I'm with it. I think I'm trying not to be. I think I'm a little scared of how personal I want to be. Yeah. You know. So th yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. It's kind of like a ride, you know. Right now, it's like a roller coaster ride. Getting to do art and to be able to express things in this way and to to hopefully change the culture you know I grew up around no one that really looked like me. For me, growing up with all those pressures, I wanted to fit in, I wanted to be about what was valuable, so I didn't work on, I didn't value parts of my eth ethnicity that were deeply rooted, like the language and the customs, the traditions and the religions. And so I feel like in, in a lot of ways, I didn't have a, a lot of languages in my later 20s to connect back to Taiwanese culture. I had always felt the subtle pressure to ignore or downplay that part of myself, but later in life, I'm kind of looking back at it and feeling a really deep draw back to my culture and, you know, and to understanding where I come from, you know, what values come from those people. That led me on a path to, it actually changed when I went, 2017, I went to Taiwan and was able to experience art there up close and personal and how it intertwined with my experience with my family. So that began the journey and kind of like tipped the domino in my life and just sparked this keen interest in the art, in Asian art, Japanese art, and Chinese painting, all of it. It was just, I was fascinated by the philosophy and the execution too. I think by connecting to those rules and ways of drawing, it's like, man, you can teleport people to a feeling. That's what I aim for in my paintings, is to, is to recreate the feeling of yukioi, which is actually translated to English, images of the floating world, which is the Japanese printmaking style. So it's like, yeah, it really does represent kind of a fantastical world with how the compositions are, and I want people to feel transported in a sense. And for me, the art brings me like a lot of joy and a lot of peace too. So yeah, that's what I hope it kind of emanates. There's something about caring deeply for something for the love of it like and then let everything else just come from that you know but just to love something and to put your passion into it it's like it blesses people everyone who gets a tattoo is blessed by that energy and that that devotion to that and i just hope through that that attention to detail and that meticulousness and that observation to be a part of a long-standing way of doing things that honors and celebrates being really, really, really attentive. I think what tattooing has, the, the practice of it, and not necessarily just in Japanese way or, or Asian way, just the, the craft of it in general, has taught me to really slow down. In my first, my apprentice meeting where I asked Maya to be his apprentice, he said, tattooing is gonna teach you a lot of patience. And I thought I knew what he meant. Man, as, time, as my apprenticeship has gone on, it's just the, the specialty 
of um, the act of tattooing has just become more apparent to me with each design. It's like, wow, okay, I can do a koi fish. What does this mean? What is the story of this koi fish? And being able to understand its language and the codes of how it's drawn is a, is a joy, you know, to discover, to be honest. It's, a, um, it's an amazing feeling. At the end of the day, I just feel so grateful. It feels just like, how did this path happen? That's ultimately how I feel. And I'm just trying to take every day as, okay, there's a, re there's a real, real reason for everything. There's a reason that I met Maya. There's a reason I met everything that happened before that, that prepared me for whatever I'm going to experience and treating everything as such, you know? So I wanna explore as deeply as I can tattooing and art and music as deeply as I can, not for the accolades or the success. It's like, I'm kind of learning quickly that it's, it's really as much of a mirage as everyone always says it is. It's really about doing art for the love of art. And I'm trying to be in a place where that's really all I can do or all I, have time to do and my life allows me to just explore deeper meanings and different techniques and it's a creative life man. <laughs>